MMA Rants and Raves, Josh Barnett versus Ben Rothwell in the UFC's heavyweight division. Guys, let's talk about this fight. You know something? These two guys, I've watched them for quite a while. Both of them have fought most of the who's who in mixed martial arts. They fought a lot of tough guys, and they faced similar opponents as well. They both had long careers, and parallel careers. I mean, they could have fought each other, I guess, back in the day because they've fought for such a long time and fought top competition. Barnett, obviously a former UFC champion, he fought in very big organizations before the UFC, he fought in Strike Force, he fought in Pride, so he has more credentials and achievements than Rothwell has. Now, it all comes down to this fight, of course. All of that is all in the past. I think he's hungry. I mean, he really wants to win a championship, and his best opportunity is now. Now, as far as the fight is concerned, I can tell you right now, stylistically, it's interesting. It benefits both guys. Rothwell, we know on the feet. There's very few guys that can stand and trade with Ben Rothwell. Very few guys that can do that. And the only way they can do it is if they have an iron jaw. You have to have an iron jaw when you stand and trade with him. Because I'm telling you right now, I would say he is one of the toughest guys in MMA history as far as standing and trading. I mean, he can take such ridiculous punishment. And the amazing thing is he's like the Hulk. The more he gets hit, it seems like the stronger he gets. It's crazy. I mean, the fight against Overeem, he was taking hot shots. He fought Brendan Schaub, he was taking a lot of shots. Brandon Vera, I mean, these guys are hard hitters. And he just keeps coming forward. He keeps coming and coming at you. The more you hit him, he keeps coming at you. Now, who wants to stand and trade with a guy like that? Now, if you're Josh Barnett, you're a very high-level wrestler. So you use that wrestling. Because I don't think Barnett is going to come into this fight and try to stand and trade with Ben Rothwell. He's going to try to get this guy to the ground. Now, we've seen that Rothwell has some weaknesses. It has been his cardio and his ground game. You saw it in the fight against Gabriel Gonzaga. So he can be taken down and submitted. But he's looked even better since that fight. His cardio has looked a lot better. And now he's become a submission guy, as you saw against Matt Mitrione in his last fight. So, this is a guy to be very careful with. I want to mention also, he's an extremely powerful guy. I mean, that choke that he had against Mitrione was very impressive. I mean, it looks like he had top position, just used his weight and his power just to tighten that submission. So, he is a very, very tough guy to deal with. Who knows what's going to happen on the ground, but... I'm sure that's where Josh Burnett wants to take this. Barnett, of course, is also a very dangerous striker. And I don't think it's going to be that easy to take him down. The guy's six foot four. He comes in at 265. I think he's cutting down. I think he's close to like 300 pounds. He is an enormous, extremely powerful individual. And there's very few guys that want to fight him. And it's only guys like Josh Burnett that will take a fight like this. The way I see it is... You're going to see Rothwell, typical Ben Rothwell, nothing fancy about him. He doesn't have speed. He doesn't have much technique. He just comes forward. He eats shots like he missed breakfast. And then he counters, and he'll collapse your face. I'm going to go with a prediction here. I got big Ben Rothwell to win this fight. I would like to know what you think about this fight. Please leave your comments. Please subscribe. Please like up this video. And thank you for tuning in.